Hello, 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 everybody. How is everyone doing? I hope you are doing well. Recently, I just watched the last official comeback of Mamamoo. So, right now, every single group that I like and I know, I have seen every single music video that they have produced. So, I am looking for a new group to discover. And a couple days ago, in one of my comments, someone suggested that I listen to Swan Swan by Eyes One. Now, I have specifically been avoiding Eyes One because they intimidate me a little bit. Twelve members is a lot of members to keep track of, and so I've been avoiding them for that reason. But I've heard little snippets, and I think they, they sound cool, so I, I do want to hear from them. I, I don't know why I'm so intimidated by that many groups. This is the same problem that I have with Luna. Um, even though, like, I've heard Butterfly, and that's, like, literally a god-tier song. And I still can't... I just don't watch Luna just because I don't like how many there are. Maybe I'll have to just get over that. So, Swan Swan. As far as I know, I think this is the newest one they have released. It's not new. Like, I, I think it's a few months old. I'm not exactly sure on the date, but... Anyway, let's let's watch this. I've been talking too long. Oh, also one thing. I've been calling this I've been calling them I Zone for a long time. But I think I'm wrong. It's Eyes One, right? I think I think that's the correct way to say it. Okay. Got like the brass section. Okay, getting right into it. You know, this is something that I've seen, like, a f lot of, like, fourth generation K-pop girl groups doing. They do, like, this, like, cosmic theme. Like, w like they're dancing in, like, the middle of outer space. Uh, Everglow has done this quite a bit. Um, they're doing it right here. What, what was the name of that other group that has done that a lot? I don't recall. But, like, a lot of fourth generation groups do this. Okay, before we get to the chorus, I don't hate their voices. Typically, I like I I don't really like the like high squeaky voices as much. There's some interesting things that they're doing. I just typically don't like. I, I like I like when they when they sing more powerfully. That's why I'm such a huge fan of like Mama Moo. I don't hate it. That's just something that I don't typically like. I I do. I am finding intrigue, like, their voices are interesting, so let's continue. Oh, there's so many. Okay, so this is the same problem that I have with the group Everglow. And that is that, like, right off the bat, they give you all that there is in the song. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that right off the bat, we have the most powerful part of the song. 
and the problem with that, I mean, the reason they do that is because it grabs you right away, right? But the problem with that is as you go through the song, since they started really big, there's not much to build. So by the middle and end of the song, you start to just kind of get a little bored just because you've been hearing the same thing the whole time. That's the problem that I have with Everglow. And that's the problem I have a little bit with this. I'm not, I do like the song. I actually really enjoy the song. Like just because I'm criticizing it a little bit doesn't mean I don't like the song. I find it very interesting and the music video is very fun to watch, but that's just my, my observation on it. Okay, see, they're changing it up here, so it makes it a little more interesting. Hey, I know her. Uh, <laughs> I don't know her name. I just know she, I, uh, she was on the show 16, uh, JYP, uh, I don't know her name because she was the first one eliminated, so I don't know anything about her, but she's uh, Cher Young from Itzy's sister. That's all I know her as, is Cher Young's sister. But she's a great dancer. I do know that about her. Um, and she's a nice one, so good for her. <laughs> so because of that, she's my favorite member, just because she's the only one I know about. Okay. They've changed it a little bit that it's more interesting. Oh, and it's over. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, the criticisms criticisms that I had for it do not outweigh the good things. And it's it's good. I like it. I, I definitely want to check out some more of them. I, uh, there's just so many that I'm never going to get their names. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll like fall in love with this group and they'll be my new favorite. Who knows? Whoever suggested this... Thank you for suggesting it because literally I've been avoiding Eyes One for so long and there was really no reason to. Like, their music is good, so. That's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah.